In this session, we will learn how to create course resources folders in a Miller course and to add uh, file resources within the folders. This is important you know, for any course, even a traditional course. You normally provide uh, students with a list of books that they need to consult you know, in, it, in order to get the most out of the course. The same applies to an online course like this. You need to create a section uh, within which you add uh, all types of resources, PDF files, Word documents, PowerPoint presentations. Um, you could even you know, add uh, videos that the students can read through to support them as they work through, uh, work through the course. So how do we do that? Um, while logged into the course, as you can see, I'm logged in course. I'll turn my editing on here. And while my editing is turned on, I, I would like to add a section. I would like to add a section here. That particular section uh, will help me to add my resources. So I'll say add topics. I'll add one. That, that topic area, this seven will become my section where I'll add my resources. But I want to drag it and bring it up to where I want it to be. Okay. Here, I'd like to keep moving it until I get it to where I want. So I keep moving it, keep dragging it, dragging it. Okay, we're about there, we're about there. Let's move it to one more, maybe two more steps. Yes. Okay, so here we go. This is topic one. I'm going to rename it. This, I'm going to call it course resources. I'm calling it course resources, course resources. Press the enter key. So I've created a section here called uh, course resources. Now I want to add a folder, a course folder within that section. Um, let's say call it course resources. And, tools. and now within that section, I'm going to add a folder. So how did I get here? I say done an activity resource, I click on that, and then I'll come and look for a resource called folder here. The folder module enables a teacher to display a number of related files inside a single folder, reducing scrolling on the course page. A zipped folder may be uploaded and unzipped for display or an empty folder created and files uploaded into it. What we are doing in this particular session is to create an empty folder and upload files into it. So with my folder selected here, I will now click on adding a folder first and then I upload files into that folder. So I'm going to call it resources folder and tools. Post resources folder tools. I'll say here this description in this uh, folder. You will uh, find files and other tools that should be of help as you work. Yes. So that's my description for that. Simply click on the folder to view or download the files. So that's my description. So now I come down here, I want to create a folder first. 
within which my files will be placed. So this is for adding the files and this is for creating the folder. So I'll say create folder. I'll give that folder a name. I'll say course resources folder and tools. Okay, so then I say create folder. So my folder is here. It's created. It's for course resources folder. Now, if we uh, go back to where we came from um, and say display folder contents on a separate page, it could be in line on the course page. Maybe we'll select in line on the course page. Show subfolders as expanded. We'll suggest additional settings for your course. But I'll save and return to course so that we can see the folder and then we'll quickly add files. So, in here, you can see our course resources folder is here. But there are no files that are added in the course page. And so what we're going to do is to edit our files here. We're going to say edit settings so that we can add some files into our folder here. So I'm going to open it while it is open. Okay. I'm going to add some files into that folder. So I'm going to choose a file. I choose a file. I could add any file. Maybe I can even add a, a video there. Can you guys see me? I want to add a video on. Um, add a video on how to create an account in Miwe. So I'll open that and see. And let's see if the file upload size permits that. So it's too large, it will not accept. So I'll select another file. I'll select another file, and the other file is this. Okay, that's 488QB. Open. So the file is there. So I've added a file here. Value of you and I could add another file. Um, look for another file from within my files and my folders here. Another file. So you can add as many files as you would like, you know, into the course resources folder. And when you're done, you can save. If I say save and display, it will display the files that I have just added there. And as you can see, this is our course resources folder. And if I want to download, I'll simply do that. And as you can see down here, it's downloading the contents of that file. But I would like to edit it so. You don't just uh, download, show download for the button. I want them to simply be visible on the and also on a separate page. See the return to course. So that is how we create um, folders within Mele. And that's how we were able to access the resources that we have. So we're going to have to edit this again back the setting to show download for the button. Okay, so I'm going to save and return to course. And when I'm done adding my folder, I want to turn editing off. So if you come uh, to the section within the course here, the course resources folder is here. When I open it, I'm able to see uh, the resources that are available in here. For me, and if I want to download the folder, I should be able to do that. So, in brief, that's the process for creating uh, resource folders and adding uploading files into the folders in the course so that the students can be supported uh, with those resources to be able to work through 